Eight minutes after seven o'clock this morning and happening today, jury selection is expected to begin in the trial of a woman accused of murdering a Nassau County mother. Kimberly Kessler is charged with first degree murder and Jolene Cummings disappearance. They work together at a Nassau County hair salon. Cummings has not been seen since 2018. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live in Nassau County. Ashley Kessler's attorney has filed several motions ahead of the trial. He certainly has. Jennifer and Bruce, good morning to you both. That includes one to move the trial somewhere else here from the Nassau County Courthouse. Now, in that motion for a change of venue, the defense says that media coverage is so pervasive and inflammatory that there's no way Kessler can receive a fair trial in Nassau County. And here at the courthouse, the judge has said she can participate in jury selection. So that means we may see her there inside the courtroom. 300 potential jurors have been summoned to court today in the state's case against defendant Kimberly Kessler. 300 potential jurors have been summoned to court today in the state's case against Kimberly Kessler. Kessler is accused of killing Jolene Cummings, her former colleague at the Tangles Hair Salon in Nassau County in 2018. The mother of three was reported missing in that year when she didn't pick up her kids on Mother's Day. Cummings has not been found. Just last week, Kessler's attorneys filed a new motion suggesting Cummings could have become violent with Kessler following an argument about drugs found in Cummings' purse in the salon. In addition to a venue change, Kessler's attorneys have also filed a motion for a court-ordered psychological evaluation. It specifically cites Kessler's frequent outbursts in the courtroom and her tendency to shout, Jordan Beard is Jolene Cummings' cousin. Earlier this month, a Nassau County judge granted 16 defense motions to suppress evidence in the trial. A lot of it would have been hearsay, including from five men identified as Kessler's ex-boyfriends and female jail inmates in Nassau and St. John's counties. The judge also ruled the prosecution cannot tell jurors about Kessler's 17 aliases or the four wigs found in her storage unit or about the two machetes that were found in Cummings' SUV. And in the months after Kessler's arrest, the Tangles hair salon where both women worked permanently closed its doors. As a trial against her accused killer finally heads to trial, the family of Jolene Cummings hopes and prays for justice in her case. And once again, 300 potential jurors reporting here to the Nassau County Courthouse this morning. They are expected to fill out a questionnaire to determine how much news coverage they've watched or if they participated in any online discussions. Jury selection is expected to begin at 830. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station. Now digging deeper into this, since her arrest, Kessler has had three mental competency evaluations. She was ruled not competent after her first evaluation in 2019. Then in the year 2020 and earlier this year, the judge ruled that she was competent to stand trial. The judge denied a request for a fourth evaluation earlier this month. Kessler's attorney argues that their client has refused to cooperate or even speak with them.